Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Uh, behind four touchdown passes for Matthew Stafford, the Rams get a win on Thursday night football, improved to three and four, and the Minnesota falls to five and two after losing consecutive ball games. The Rams got a safety on a missed face mask mm -hmm. call. Sam Darnold was sacked in the end zone, but it was clearly, clearly a yeah. face mask. And I don't know how the official that's standing two, three feet away from him missed that. So now it goes from an eight point to a 10 mm -hmm. point game. And the Rams get the ball back and they were able to seal the victory by taking knees because the uh, Vikes were out of timeout. Yeah. Ocho, remember, we say all plays aren't created yeah. equal. Well, Shannon, there, I mean, there are plenty, plenty of missed calls throughout the course of the game. Yeah, if you missed that call in the fourth in the first quarter, you got three, three and a half, four quarters to overcome it. When you down eight and you missed that call, right. Ocho. Can't uh, you can't overcome that. It's a difference you in can. the game. It yeah. is. It was a big difference in the ball game. And now look, Matthew Stafford played really well yeah. tonight. Uka Nakua. Now you see why Cooper Cup is on the trade yeah. block. You got a younger mm -hmm. guy that's less expensive mm -hmm. and that's that's the way sports yeah. work. It's just like that in the real world. If you get somebody that's younger, okay, somebody's been there 10, 15 years. You get somebody mm -hmm. that's younger, that's on a cheaper mm -hmm. salary, that can do the job just as well, if yeah. not better. And get the same production. What you're starting to see. Yeah. There's really no loyalty. You talk about loyalty in sports. There ain't a whole lot of loyalty in, exactly. in jobs It never has been. Never has been. That's the way this is. This is the uh, a dirty business. It always has been a dirty business. But some, for, but for some reason... Fans are always fooled into believing that it's a fair game for the players. And the first thing they bring up is, well, the players make millions of dollars. But they always ignore the business side of things. Uh, again, I, I, I'll, I'll state it again. Uh, Cooper Cup didn't have a, a, a great game tonight, but Puka Nakua did. He picked up where he left off. Matthew Stafford, if I'm not mistaken, coming into this game, he only had three touchdown passes in the past whatever weeks it might have been. And tonight, with a healthy Cooper Cup, and a healthy Puka Nakua has four tonight. The deep, the offense looked completely different. So with with, with yeah. Cooper Cup being on the trade block, with them going from from um what was it what the two and five to not what two and four to now three and four, if I'm not mistaken, I think that yep, with yep, that with that being their record now, I think that's off because now you have to think. Last year they went on an eight game stretch of winning seven of the last eight. So who's to say that? They can't do that now, now that everybody is back healthy. So I think, and they, obviously last year they, they made the playoffs and finishing 10 and, 10 and 7, if I'm not mistaken, and made the playoffs. So they might they might can go on a run now and do the same thing, especially from an offensive standpoint, as good as their plan. The question is, if somebody willing to give me uh, the high draft pick that I seek for Cooper Cup, then uh, I do the deal. Bay, because Tampa Bay you, absolutely will. They have nothing. They have me, nothing. No, okay. <laughs> they they have them. They don't. Let me clear, they don't. Let me clear this. Chris Godwin is out. Mike Evans is out. It's always next. It's always yeah. next man up. But the next man up is not going to give you the production that your Mike Evans or your Chris Godwin will would having a, a Cooper Cup to come in in the offense that I'm sure he's familiar with because much doesn't change from team to team outside of the language and the plays that are called. That, that's pretty, that's mm -hmm. pretty much it. So. And, and I think this guy, I think that guy was with Sean McVay. So that might be the same. Bingo. Offense. Bingo. And so they might pretty much use the same mm -hmm. language. And the whole, the thing is, Ocho, when they say next man up, you might be talking about one man, one man. You don't really talk about two. You don't hope you got, well, I got another guy that's, that plays behind Chris Godwin that can be the next man. I got a guy that plays behind Mike Evans that can be the next man. Most teams don't have no. two guys that are going to be the next man. You might have one. You might find have a diamond right. in the rough where somebody goes mm -hmm. out and the guy can come in and give you the very similar right. production. But the likelihood you having mm -hmm. two, three guys like we see some of these teams, and that's why Kansas City made the deal. I mean, you're out Rasheed Rice. You're without Hollywood Brown. Uh, and you get, a, you know, Pacheco, not Kareem Hunt has come in and did an unbelievable job, but the likelihood of you having multiple right. guys that can be next man up and give you the kind of production that the guys that you were counting on to give you that production is not yeah. very likely. So my question, the, the, the thing that I have for the Rams is that what is the likelihood, Ocho? Let's just say for the sake of argument, if we were to keep Cooper right. Cup, 
is what what's our chance? Can we win it all? Because once you've won it all, the only question is, can you win it all again? You, you know what? I, I, I say it all the time. And for, for those of you that are in the chat, football doesn't start. Football season doesn't start. Meaningful football. Let me let me, let me add that to it. Meaningful football doesn't start mm-hmm. until after Thanksgiving. Until after Thanksgiving. And with them being three and four now, to me, how the Rams organization and, and Sean McVay are looking on the inside – Hell, if we went on a run and won seven of our last eight last year and made the playoffs at 10 and seven, who to say we can't do it now and, and go and go on a run and go on a tear? I, I, I think, you I know think, the thing I, is, I Ocho? it's possible. And because the 49ers are not what I, they were, I, you see Seattle, you're right yeah. there with them. You see the Cardinals, you're right there with them. And so maybe that changes that changes your outlook also. Now, if you were like where the 49ers were, what they were six and one, oh, maybe seven not, and one at this not, point last not. year, you're like, ah, oh, now nah, we're is. not catching yeah. them. And so now, because there's a chance you can win the division, there's a chance you will get a if you win the division, obviously you get a home game. So maybe that changes the, the thought process. But normally, when somebody's on the yeah. trade block, they don't pull them off. Especially if I can get what I what get I want to get. Right. Kansas City walked away because they wanted a long, they wanted a high mm-hmm. draft pick, and they wanted the Rams to put some of that right. salary bill. Rams like nah nah, let, let, we gonna hold on. It, hey, we got we still got what yeah. twelve days November mm-hmm. the fifth, which is election right. Tuesday. So we're we're gonna hold we're gonna hold yeah. on, and we'll see what we'll see what shakes out. Maybe I hate saying this, but you know mm-hmm. what, Ocho. Maybe somebody else that think they got a good chance to make the playoffs or make a deep run, and, and a receiver gets roster. nicked. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I mean so, just, just looking at it, the, the the only thing that makes sense to me, obviously, Tampa Bay, who has a winning record and probably wants to yep. still continue to give Baker an outlet, somewhat of a security blanket and someone he can actually get the ball to. I mean, just you, you yep. just have to do something like that. And I'm sure Baker has spoke to management and spoke to the people upstairs Obviously, the head coach and the offensive coordinator about getting another target in there so that often can still have some type of consistency and 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 rhythm with a receiver that he can count on consistently down in and down out. And it, it, listen, it, it might happen, but again, if you take Cooper Cup out of that offense, who who was double tonight, I think then Puka Nakua now gets that attention. But Sean McVay's offense is so creative and so is so creative in being able to define ways to get Puka, Puka Nakua open. Um, I, I think they would be fine if they were to trade Cooper Cup. You see, uh, Cooper Cup has five for 51 on the touchdown. Demarcus Robinson had two catches for 35 yards, two touchdowns. Kyron Williams even che- t- uh, uh, even mm-hmm. chipped in and had a touchdown catch. So they do a great job of spreading yep. the ball around. Uh, Tutu Adwell, uh, who's played he, well. He, yeah, he under, Matt underthrew it. Uh, Stafford yeah, underthrew under it. it. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, they do a great job of spreading the ball around. The tight ends chipped in tonight, had some, uh, had some big catches. Uh, Hunter Long had one for 18. Atwell had one for 18. Uh, Kobe Parkinson had two for 17. Um, that offense is really predicated on spreading the ball around. Now he will, the hot man, they're going to throw it. They're going to feed you because we remember that, that triple crown season that yeah. Cooper cup had, and he's had some other seasons, which he's mm-hmm. played well, but not that historic season that he had during right. that Super Bowl run. So I, I like this offense and, you know, Maybe you're right. Maybe that changes things because the 49ers is not as powerful as we thought they were going to be, and they're not dominating that division. Um, and so they're like, hold on. We got a whole bunch of teams. Anybody can win it. The Cardinals can win it. Yeah. Seattle can win it. We can win it. 49ers could get healthy. They can win it. But uh, maybe that does change, Ocho. Maybe that does change how they right, see right. themselves moving forward. And maybe you're maybe you're right. Maybe they do pull a uh, uh, Cooper Cup buck off the trade block. But if I think if they get a third round pick for him, Ocho, I think they're going right. to let him go. Because Sean McVay says, you know what? We got Puka. Uh, we got Demarcus Robinson. We got Atwell. We can spread it around mm-hmm. enough and we can make plays. Or look, Kyron Williams running mm-hmm. the football. Um, he ran the ball decent tonight. Um, they kept, they, they balanced mm-hmm. it up. Uh, defensively, they're they're okay. They're not great. Obviously, when you lose one of the historically great defensive players of all time in Aaron Donald, but they still can get after the they still can get after your quarterback. But it, I would love to have seen what would have happened, Ocho, if we get that that that's a face mask. You can't miss you can't miss right. that call in that mm-hmm. spot at that moment in that area because not only do you give them 15 yards of the first down, 
you take us. That's two points for the opposing team, and you give the other oh, team the yeah. ball. So you did a, you did three bad things. We don't get fifteen yards <laughs> of the first down. You give them two points, and you give them the right. ball. I'm like, well, damn. What the hell were you looking at? Bro, I look, I understand. You you okay? I mean, you ain't gonna be able to catch no oh, they like, hell, we try to get this red eye. You know, cause you know, they they at LA, they got a red eye to probably leave and going wherever they going at, at 10 30, 11 right. o'clock. So they're like, hell, get out here, get shower. We could be at the airport, get this red eye. We get home in the morning, but in the morning, 5 30, right. 6 o'clock. Hey, we stepping off a plane. But the Rams win 30 to 20 over the Vikes. The Vikes dropped their second straight games. They were undefeated uh, heading into last week. No longer they lose two con- yeah. two consecutive games to fall to five and two. To two good, to two good um, teams now. Two good two teams. Good teams. But two good teams. Obviously, the Rams look good tonight because they got, they have every everybody back healthy on offense. That that, that goddamn oh, hey, that goddamn Jeff. Before we go on, but that goddamn Justin Jefferson, man, man, yeah. Lord have mercy. Hey, well. Hey, yeah. You know, he <laughs> they find a way to get him the ball, Ocho. He he in this offense is what Cooper Cup is in the Rams offense when Cooper Cup, because that's what uh, Kevin yes, O'Connell sir. came from. And so they find ways to mm-hmm. get him the ball. They put him in the slot. They'll stack him. They put him in motion. They line him right. up outside. Now, he lines up way more outside than Cooper right. Cup yeah, does. Definitely. Cooper Cup is mainly a slot, mainly the motion guy. But they will do a lot of different things with yeah. Justin Jefferson. He's a good mm-hmm. route runner. Uh, uh, Cooper Cup is a really good route runner because the thing is, when you play in this offense and they're going to throw you this many balls, mm-hmm. Ocho, you got to be a good route runner because the quarterback know, got to know where you're yeah. going to be. You can't mm-hmm. be drifted. You can't be doing your right. own thing because he's going to get, Jefferson's going to get somewhere between 150 and 175 hey, targets. could you imagine? No, I but can't imagine. So I don't even want to talk about it. With them kind of, that many targets? Well, that many catches? Like I, I look at, I think the the most catch they had in the season was ninety seven, ninety seven. Yeah. I just think about, I look at some of the some of the players, you know, one hundred forty four, one hundred thirty three catch. I'm like, well, God damn, I'm I'm crazy. If I was in that type of offense, what would my numbers have been if I was able to get that many opportunities to catch the damn ball? Like that's crazy. Yeah. The way the game has changed, you know, uh, to date. Well, you go get more. You go get more hits. Well, it's hard to give somebody that kind of that kind of those kind of targets when they mainly play outside. Right. If you look at the guys that normally get that kind of catches, they, 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 they normally play a lot. Yeah, they yeah, play yeah. a lot of the slot. You look at you look at mm-hmm. AB. You look at Michael right. Thomas. You look at Cooper yeah. Cup. You look at the guys that get those kind of catches. Ocho, you ain't just playing yeah. outside because I can't des- I can't scheme. I can't de- uh, uh, diagram mm-hmm. enough plays outside yeah. the numbers. I've got to get you some catches in the mid- between yeah. the hashes. I've got to get you you know some jailbreak screens. I got to get you a lot. Of, I got a hundred. I think Cooper, I mean, what, 180, 190 targets, Jesus. Ocho? That's a lot of damn targets, man. Yeah. You know, I, that's, I, at I, least, I was, that's at least 10 to 11 targets right. a game. I, 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 mainly, I mainly played on the outside. I didn't really do much, I didn't yes. do much damage on the inside. TJ Hushmanzada obviously was was an animal. He was an animal in there, being able to, man, being yeah. able to read zone. Honestly, and I, I, I could just I could be honest with you, there's a, there's a certain, being inside like that, it was, it was a certain uncomfortability for me. You know, yeah. I, I I don't know why. I enjoyed being on the outside. There's a lot of car wrecks yeah, in there. I enjoyed being on the outside, <laughs> man to man. If you double team and sometimes even with a double team, the first person, obviously, if there's a double team and you're playing 55 man, two or whatever it might have been, the person in front of me um, didn't exist. He didn't yeah. exist. Most of the time, even with the double, even with the safety shaded over on the hash, Carson knew whatever the route concept might have been, the person in front of me did not exist. It didn't exist. Yeah. No, I'm gonna beat oh, him. It didn't exist. So every I'm and running that's what everything I told off safety. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat mm-hmm. him with my yeah. technique. You beat the second guy yeah. with the throw. Bingo. Bingo. I got him. Don't right. worry about him. I yeah. got him. You take care mm-hmm. of the safety mm-hmm. with the throw. And I, I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't play on the in, play on the inside much because you didn't really have to put me in there for me to be able to get open. So if teams came in the game saying, you know what, we take you out the game no matter what. We're not allowing you to do anything. There would be certain times where Carson would go off script, and right before I leave the huddle, I'm coming to you anyway. He just whispered, I'm coming right. to you anyway. So that that let me know, okay, whoever whoever's in front of me within arm's reach, 
it don't matter. You don't even count. Right. Because I'm running everything off the safety mm-hmm. at that point. And obviously, just like you said, Carson with his, with his arm was always able to, you know, the throw would beat the second man every time. Yeah. I think, I, and, and the thing is, like I said, when you play in the slot, you got to be really technical sound because you can't drift. Because a lot of times, if you drift, that's going to be a headache mm-hmm. for you. Because the quarterback got to protect you a lot. Because a lot of times you don't see, and you see a lot of time when guys back shoulder the, uh, uh, the right. slot guy, he's trying to tell you there's danger right. in front of you, bro. I'm saving mm-hmm. your headache. I- I'm saving you for having them come on the field and asking, "Are you okay? Where yeah. do you hurt? <laughs> What's hurting? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to save you because a lot of times the quarterback can see right. what you can, and a lot of times those collisions are instantaneous. You catch bam every time. At least Ocho, when you outside, you got yeah. some time. But if you notice, you look at Edelman, you look at the guys that played right. the slots, the West Welkers, the Cooper Cubs, mm-hmm. those guys, a lot of times it's catch, bang, yeah. bang, bang. And so uh, you've got to really, really take care of your body in there because, you, hey, you're going to get hit a lot of times. And a lot of times it's going to be, you know, you're going to get hit and you don't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I, hey, they try to put hats on you regardless because they want to make it like, okay, Damn, I don't know if I want to go back in there and catch that other one. But this Detroit hangover is a real thing. Teams are now 0-5 after playing the Lions this season, as the Vikes did this past Sunday. So after you play the Lions, go on and chalk that thing up. 